Lemon Lumberjack's Letter Mill. Story Time. Archie the acorn loves archery in autumn. He aims arrows at apples stuck in antelope antlers, and he always admires his accuracy. Bella, the beautiful blooming blossom, bakes biscuits for the bumblebees and bunnies, but she usually burns the batch. Cassie, the cranky candle, carefully crafts crusty castles on the coast. She curses and cries whenever they crumble in the currents. From dawn until dusk, Delia the Doctor Donut dotes on dizzy dwarves, each one dazed from dancing and drumming. Echo, the evil eggplant, experiments with electric eels. If the eels have been extra energizing, he lets them eat eclairs for breakfast. Fitz, the funny fork, frolics with his fox and frog friends in the ferns, flowers and fronds. Grumps, the green glove, hates when he's given gifts. Whether it's geckos or glamorous garments, he growls at the gift givers. Go away! Hank, the hobo ham, has a hankering for honey. Maybe if he hit that hornet hive with his hula hoop, he'd have a handful for his hike back home. After an in-depth investigation, Irving, the iron inspector, was very irate that his icy igloo and ice cream cone were inexplicably melting. Jet the Jolly Jam Jar juggles jingle bells in the Jungle Jamboree. If she can just impress the judges, she wins all the jade jewellery. Kira, the klutzy kiwi, is keen about karate. She practices her kicks in the kitchen and knocks the kettle and kale off the counter. Lloyd the Lemon Lumberjack leaps up the ladder to lop a limb off the leafy linden tree. Looks like enough lumber for a very long time. Mysterio Milk makes movie night memorable. He magically makes more mangoes, milkshakes and marshmallows whenever the monkeys monopolize the munchies. Nimble, the navy nut, nervously navigates through Norway in the night. She never knows what might be nearby, like needle-nose narwhals. Olaf, the obnoxious onion, is obsessed with opera. He practices often with his orange organ and oboe, though it offends the ears of his olive neighbours. After polo practice, Percy the Pickle and his prancing pony pick pears and pomegranates to prepare the most perfect pie. Quinn the Quill is on a quest for the Queen of Quails. Equipped with a quilt and a fresh quiche, she's quite the quirky adventurer. Ryan the Radish repairs the roof with a rusty robot. He listens to the radio and rocks out as they replace the rotted shingles. Shep the Sad Sushi sulks as he scrubs the saucepans and silverware. He wants to skip outside in the sunshine, but not until the silver is squeaky clean. Tickles, the tattooed tofu, takes tea at two o'clock on Tuesdays. With tepid tea and tiny tacos, it's a treat to take time to talk with her friend, the teddy bear. Una, the ukulele, rides a unicycle up and down the urban streets with her umbrella. It's such an unusual sight that even the unicorns stare. Vera, the Venus flytrap, visits the village to view vegetables from the viper grocer. Though the veggies are good, the vexed viper makes Vera very nervous. 
Wix the Watch works at the wharf with the walruses. He's wonderful at waxing their whiskers and always has walnuts and watermelons if the walruses want a snack. Xavier the xylophone has an extraordinary x-ray collection. The x-ray fish is his favorite. It doesn't need extra radiation to examine its insides. After some yummy yogurt, Yari the yellow yarn likes to yo-yo in the yard with her yak, who yodels Yari's favorite songs. Zoe the zinnia zooms on a zebra throughout the zoo. They zealously zig and zag, only stopping for zucchini. <laughs>